Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, guys, and welcome to a new episode. So today I'm in New York, and it is a pretty particular day because I'm going to have one of my photography printed. Because long story short, it's going to be auctioned, and so I need to have it printed on a nice paper. I need to find a good like art framing and everything. This is what I'm going to be doing right now, and I'm going to update you on what has been happening lately. A lot has been happening, and it's been difficult maybe like to upload all the videos I wanted. I'm still have a few in progress right now we're by wall street and i've got to go around 20th 23rd street so it takes an hour walking but i'm gonna take the because it's way faster than just walking we are now by 23rd the print shop and framing should be around here we're gonna find it together i'm gonna show you a bit i don't know if i'm gonna be showing you the picture or not yet though By 23rd Street, guys, you have the Flatiron building, which is right there. And if you see behind me, right here, uh, here, actually this shop is called Mai, and it is a French shop. It is basically mustard, French mustard, and it is usually completely different from the one you might be used to, or the sweet ones that they have in Germany and in so many countries around the world. So if you ever can try uh, Mai mustard, it's really good. So the photograph was taken in, in Nicaragua. It's gonna be auctioned basically to uh, a gala of the nonprofit that I was helping while I was in, uh, in Nicaragua. So this picture will actually only exist in three copies around the world and only three can be printed. And, and it's completely an artistic decision, but the less prints you actually take out, the more value each print has, obviously. But also what I like is that it keeps that really unique feel for each picture. And uh, this is something that I'm going for. So for that image, there will be only three prints available in the world. And one of them is going to the foundation. I'm donating it to them and they're going to put it for auction there. So it's going to be pretty cool. Now I just need to find the best print possible. And the print shop should be around here. So. This guy's holy smoke lighting up weed. It smells like everywhere in the street. Is it legal to just smoke like that in the street? Maybe it is here. We'll see. I talked to them earlier. Okay, so in terms of paper, you see that one is semi-glass. That one is full matte. And for the black and white, I really prefer the like full, full matte and a bit of grain in the, the texture and the paper. Looks really nice and it's for our fine art prints, you know. Otherwise, it's like very glossy, and then if it's very glossy, you can always like print stuff like that. But if it's like for museum type, like art type, I really prefer that. I'm gonna go down and check another shop. I'm checking the prices and what they can do, also the paper they have. Because you know what? It is simply crazy. It's four times more expensive to print here in the US than it is in France. Let's walk style for a few blocks, like a dozen and we'll see what they have there. All right, second shop is on Broadway, so I got there, it's on the sixth floor. I'm looking for the perfect wall shop, paper, people to work with, because it's important. If you're printing something for art, it has to be perfect, in my opinion. might be framing like that and the size might end up something like that we'll see thanks a lot guys Bye. see you later all right guys great print shop right now i'm going back to brooklyn i'm gonna debrief with you on the rest of the day All right, guys, so let me update you on the whole situation. So right now we're back in Brooklyn and what happened? So if you remember, I went to Nicaragua. Yay! 
Watch those videos, they're pretty cool, I think. While I was there, I shot a, some kind of small documentary for Surgeons of Hope. It is basically a nonprofit that, that is helping train and build and, and basically sustain uh, open heart surgery centers in third world countries. Uh, and it's really good what they do. They do it like for the kids, mainly. I think it's a great cause. I was helping them, I was happy to do so. And now they have their annual gala and I'm going to be like actually selling one of my prints in order for them to ra raise money. So we pinned down which picture is going to be printed. Now I figured out how I'm gonna get it printed and framed. I kind of have an idea of the size. I want it big actually because I think when it's big it has so, mu so much more impact than when something is small, you know. And when it's an art piece, you want it really big in your house. What else happened? I'm still working on a few videos including like the five best for St. Lucia, for Mexico, for Nicaragua, those videos actually take a lot of time to make. Yeah. And so on top of that, guys, there will be a, there are a few trips planned for the, the next few weeks uh, and you will see it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm gonna tell you which one is the first one because if you've been following for a long time, well, you might have seen where we've been in October, I think, November, for the Annapolis Boat Show and we're going back with Trina. It's gonna be great because uh, I'm really excited and we're actually going to go back exactly to the same location also in Maryland where it was day two of the vlog I think and I'm just excited to go there and, and just see that. I'm gonna try to make a, a video where I compare both. It can be kind of fun. Anyway, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna work on the videos and some other stuff. Let me know what are you working on lately? Can I help you with anything? And if anyone is in New York, please let me know. Actually, New York, Chicago, or Naples. Please let me know in the comments, I would love to meet you guys. So with that being said guys, remember if you like that video, leave a big thumbs up, leave me a comment if you want to say anything. And remember, make the most of your time on this planet because you never know when it ends. See you tomorrow, bye bye.